Hey guys, welcome. We're going to do some Dominaria drafting. I've done about six drafts, I would say, and I've only got one trophy so far. It's kind of a hard, uh, hard format. Um, there's a lot of really powerful stuff and a lot of stuff that makes you want to splash other colors. And... Uh, you're going to have to one online permanent exactly. Only if you have a legendary. And it's a really hard, it's really super hard format to figure out. Um, you know, I have been really attracted to the green and black cards. I feel like those are the two strongest colors. Um, however, however, the, the one I won, I played black white in more of an aggro fashion, and that worked well. Um, there's a lot of aggro, there's a lot of tempo, um, but there's also cards that shut down aggro really well. It's like very interesting. I haven't liked the red cards too much. I have not drafted red yet. Um, I've splashed red. Um, I kind of want to take this journey mage in case I don't get there on the Karns, because this might even come back around. These cards are not great. Yeah, so I'll take the Journey Mage there. Um, I'm tempted to just try to do blue-red just to see if I can. Um, Goblin Barrage, that seems like a reasonable removal spell here. Obviously, Eviscerate is better. Ooh, Fiery Intervention is good, too. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of... There's three good red cards here. The Phoenix is good. Um, hmm, but the, you know, obviously Eviscerate is better, but I've been playing black over and over again, so I want to try to do something different here. Um, Candle is okay. This card doesn't seem super good. Um... Although it is a legendary, which matters a lot. Surveyor is really good. Never disappointed in this card. This is one of those cards you're always happy to draw. Even if you don't splash, it's still just really great. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the Surveyor there. Ooh, Sulfur Falls. Deep Freeze has been pretty good. Wow, Black is really open um uh, yeah i'm gonna sorry i gotta take that <laughs> wizards retort okay um i'm gonna try to look for some more wizards here i'm trying to force blue red wizards cloud reader sphinx is great i don't want to pass that really you know what? I'll get more of that type, more opportunity for that type of card. This is a wizard that does something. This is a wizard that doesn't do anything. Fiery intervention. Okay. Um, another wizard's retort. Wow. Okay. Snapper, I'd like to get one of these, but I don't think I need to take it just yet, so I'll take this other counterspell. So, I mean, we're forcing our way, and it's working. We're, like, cutting off these colors pretty well. Um... Hopefully we find some creatures in the next couple packs. But yeah, so anyway, um, I found that it's really tempting to splash, especially if you're playing green, because you have that three mana ramp spell that's been really good, uh, and Surveyor, and that Navigator's Compass. So, I mean, I've played five color, 
five color green a few times and you know the only problem i've had with it is that it's a bit slow all right so we have a bunch of expensive removal it'd be good to get some cheaper spells but so far i like our spells we just need to get more creatures to go with them and then we'll be in good shape <coughs> yeah so there's a lot of um and because there's so many good two color um creatures like legends and whatnot then it really makes you want to splash but generally speaking we'll be better off if we don't do that okay i'll take that guy now i know we passed a lot of the opts i don't love to play opt it's like a fine filler card but I mean, it does work well with uh, these type of cards, so. Um, yeah, I don't think we want the aura, even though it's pretty strong. I think I'll, I'll take a befuddle. Any card that says draw a card on it <laughs> is a card I like. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like this has a decent chance of being a two for one for three mana at an instant. That's not bad. Okay, I'll take this Guardian for now and we'll try to find something better. Sage of. I keep wanting to call it Sage of Batman. I don't know. Latnam. Batman. I don't know. But. And yeah, we passed some good cards to take this Sulphur Falls, but I mean, come on. <laughs> value. Value. Torgar is amazing. This card I've never played, but it seems great. Um, I'm definitely taking Time of Ice here. Time of Ice is completely busted. Even though I'd love to take that Journey Mage. Um... Maybe we'll wheel the dumb 2 2 or something. Yeah, I mean, one time, one dra one of these drafts, if I open one of these, I'll first pick it and I'll uh, try to do red white equipment auras. That seems like a seeded deck. Um, yeah, time of ice. Time of ice is a good time, <laughs> but not for your opponent. Time of ice has been brutal to play against. Uh, Kelden Raider, Academy Drake. I think I like the Drake because it's decent early game. It's great late game. My coworker is texting me that she's going to be late for work. I'm off from work, so I really don't care. Be late all you want, honey. I ain't coming in. <laughs> yeah, so I think with spells this good, even if our creatures are just kind of medium, I think we'll be okay. It would be nice to get some something cool. Some. Why is this a shaman and not a wizard? Come on. Um... Tempting to take this for value because it's like amazing, but um, I could take Valduck or I could take Kelden Raider. I think I'll take the Raider. There's a late Goblin Barrage. I'm always happy to have four removal spells <laughs> that seems great chain whirler all right yeah i'll try this out i mean even like some of these trip all oh, this cycle of triple colored ones like even if i cast this on turn five it's still pretty strong i mean so i don't mind that it'll be hard to cast on turn three i do have a silver fall so that'll help but You know, pinging everything for one could, 
you know, could be great, and a 3-3 first strike will get through or hold down the, the ground, you know. Good on offense and defense. I like it. Uh, so do I want divination? Do I want one of these medium creatures? I don't really have that many historic things yet. Okay, I mean, re returning Time of Ice is kind of a cool, it's kind of big game. All right. Uh, kicker is 10 mana. Otherwise, it's an 8 mana, 8, 8. Nah, that doesn't seem good. All right, Goblin War Chief it is. Uh, Candle is probably the better card, but I'm going to take the Cyclops because I'm more in need of creatures than anything else. And the two drop came back around. Weight of Memory is, is good too, but I'm not going to do that here. Two drop, four drop. Let's take the four drop. Bird could be okay. That guy seems good. I don't have that many artifacts where Sage of Latinam seems great yet, so, okay. Alright. Now, it would be great if I could get some more wizards to this pack. To power these up. Because they're not great without it. Merfolk Wizard. Yeah, this card is great. Ooh, I like that one too, but this, this card is really strong. I don't know if I want three Kelden Raiders. <laughs> Blink of an eye. Alright, I'll take that and I can get rid of that. Siege Gang. Siege Gang. Nice. So this is turning into goblins somehow. Um, <laughs> I'll take it. Let's cut unwind. We don't really need that. Um... Journey Mage, yeah. Maybe I'll cut this. Another another Journey Mage. Or I could take this Sphinx, because I don't have any big flyers. Cut the Sentinel for this Sphinx. Sentinel's not a wizard, is it? No, it's a soldier. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take Memorial here because there's a lot of good cards in my colors, but my deck is pretty full already. And that doesn't take up a, a slot, you know? Um, wow. Same. <laughs> Same thought there. I mean, I have one, two, three. Yeah, sacrifice an artifact or a goblin, so that's cool. I can. This works well with the goblin cards in my deck. There's a lot of good goblins. Maybe there's like a mono red goblin deck? Because I don't think there are black goblins in this set, are there?
I uh, don't really care about any of these. Maybe if somebody plays five color and I seismic shift them, <laughs> I might do that. Oh yeah, so YouTube stop <clears throat> letting you monetize if, unless you have like some insane number of subscribers and, and views. Um, so first of all, please help me out and help me get more, <laughs> more views. Um, share with your friends, you know. Uh, and second, hmm, no, 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 this is close. Maybe I'll take that just in case I need another expensive removal spell. So, second of all, that means I could probably uh, start playing copyrighted music and not give a shit because <laughs> it's uh, I'm not going to get money anyway. <laughs> so, maybe it doesn't matter now. Yeah, so over this shoulder, that's Poppy Troll <laughs> in the playpen. There's a... Uh, I keep all the stuffed animals in there. My daughters like to dive in there. It's kind of fun. Uh, I think this is a 16 land deck, perhaps. Because we're only playing two colors. We have a dual land. I mean, what would I even cut? A creature... Can I bounce my own? No. Uh, it'd be fun to bounce this. I like having one of these because it's a better blocker. So maybe I play only two Kelden Raiders. Because realistically, this is probably not a three drop most of the time. Yeah, let's let's do that. Add a mountain, so we have the seventeenth land. And we'll save like this. And we'll see how it goes. Sweet. 